Hi, my name is Nevi, this is Karlik Astrology, and let's talk about March and what we can all expect from March 2024, what are the major transits in this month. So, starting off March, we have on the 9th of March, we have Mercury in Aries. Uh, Mercury, the planet of communication, the planet of uh, information, how we gather information, how we share information, the way we think, the way we... Um, um, pr process the information that we have gathered is um, and how, the way we communicate, the way we uh, talk with people, the way we listen. So this uh, planet Mercury is going into Aries um, from so from the 9th of March uh, 2024. We have Mercury going into Aries. This is, uh, I think this is really fun because Mercury in Aries, Mercury the planet of communication going into Aries, Aries is the first zodiac sign, it's the baby of the zodiac. And also Mercury in Aries, um, this transit of Mercury, meaning that we have, now our communication is going to become, <clears throat> to take in um, qualities from the Mercury in Aries. So we have um, the planet Mercury going into Aries and we have this, um, all of our communication, all of us are going to experience our communication becoming more direct because of Mercury in Aries, more honest. Mercury in Aries, uh, one of the qualities is um, all of us are going to become more transparent, more direct, more, uh, more honest. And uh, this is also one of the um, negative sides <laughs> because Mercury in Aries doesn't really care where it is. It doesn't care who is it around, who is it talking to, who is it talking about. Uh, if Mercury in Aries is upset, they're going to talk about it at this moment, right now. It doesn't matter if we're in at a fancy dinner. It doesn't matter if uh, I'm at work <laughs> or if I, nothing matters. All the... All, uh, all that uh, matters to us with Mercury in Aries is that we're going to talk about it right now. So this type of um, feeling of, of urgency, you know, right now, not tomorrow, not after one hour, right now, we have to talk about it at the moment now. This kind of urgency, we're all going to have it with this Mercury in Aries. So directness, uh, transparency, honesty, um, uh, the sense of urgency, like it's now or never, this kind of uh, urgency. Uh, also, the negative side, uh, the negative side is that um, we can be um, a little bit more tactless with Mercury in Aries because we don't care about, <laughs> we don't care about other people, we don't care about, um, you know, um, the circumstances around us and the, the time and the people. Um, the, the thinking is I have to say this and um, people will respect my honesty, but uh, you have to understand that sometimes it's not just, um, you know, uh, that we're saying something, it's how we're saying it. Mercury and Aries doesn't care how we're saying it. Uh, you know, the, the most valued quality is honesty. This is the top priority, the top valued quality, this is honesty. And uh, Mercury in Aries, we all are going to value honesty and transparency and directness a lot more <clears throat> than maybe before. So uh, with Mercury in Aries, we are going to be more direct, a little bit, bit more tactless. We're not going to care about the circumstances and other people and uh, so on and so on. Um, also, we're going to be impatient, urgent, <laughs> we're going to feel this urgency to communicate. We're going to be very open also. It is the first sign, the baby, the baby of the zodiac. It's very open to experience and to listen to a lot of people. And um, we can be a little bit more naive even because uh, we, we are going to... We're going to want to believe the people <laughs> and what, they're, we, what people are saying to us. Um, the, the critical thinking maybe is not going to be so strong <laughs> with this transit, with this Mercury transit, with Mercury in Aries. Um, so being impatient, being fiery, almost being rude. Some people may perceive this as being rude, right? Telling um, 
whatever we want to say at the, the, the moment, not caring about, uh, you know, a little bit more self-centered, but this can be both a positive and a negative. It really depends on, on us and how we work with this energy. But um, it's going to be a lot more fun. We're going to be a lot more fiery and open and honest um, with this transit. Um, now, on the 10th of March, something important is happening during the month of uh, March. Um, we have a new moon in Pisces. So, uh, during February, we had a stellium of Aquarius uh, energy. We had uh, a lot a lot more planets and, and, and events happening in Aquarius. So, we had this like a very strong stellium is three or more planets in, in the same sign or in the same house. So, we had a stellium of energy uh, in, 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 we had a stellium in Aquarius. Uh, and now we're starting to break it off in this, uh, during the beginning of March. Uh, we have Mercury going into Aries on the 9th of March and we have a new moon in Pisces on the 10th of March. So the new moon in Pisces, to me new moons are always about something hidden because the new moon is, if, if you look at it, it's, it's something hidden. It's something that we have to, it's not clear, it's not, it's not uh, transparent. Something is always hidden, something is uh, undeveloped, uh, not completely done. So having this new moon in Pisces, I think it's a great moment for us to so, New Moon in Pisces, Pisces is about spirituality, faith, religion, dreaming, uh, imagination. So, with this New Moon in Pisces, we may be uh, planting a lot of seeds and, and thinking of a lot of creative ideas. Um, but I think it's a great moment for manifesting. I think it's a great moment for um, testing our faith or our spirituality. Um, and really working on our ideas, our creativity, our dreaming, imagination, ideas, uh, faith and spirituality and religion. Um, it can it can come with some tests about uh, around these themes, but it's just so that we can show um, you know our uh, what we what we how are we going to deal with um, these things and these themes. So yeah, the new moon in Pisces, I think it's a very spiritual moment. I think it's very connected with faith and connected with our own spirituality and our own faith. Um, what is my goal in life? What is my, uh, what is my role? Um, so leaving it all um, in our faith, in our spirituality, and then just letting it go, right? Like a prayer. Um, you pray and then you leave it <laughs> and then you, you just leave it to whatever, whoever, whatever it is. Um, this new moon in Pisces is a very spiritual moment, I think. Um, not realistic at all. <laughs> so we have to keep that in mind. Uh, next we have on the 11th of March, Venus going into Pisces. So Venus, the planet of love, beauty, and finances, is going into Pisces. Again, we are breaking off this Aquarius stellium that happened uh, during February, and we have uh, the planets moving into different, uh, different, uh, different uh, zodiac signs. So we have Venus going into Pisces on the 11th of March. This is... Venus going into Venus, the Venus, this planet of love going into Pisces is this, um, this period, this transit is about uh, how our love is going to be so spiritual and it's going to be like really um, dreamlike. Uh, so if we are into a relationship, we are probably going to be, uh, be feeling very uh, movie-like, <laughs> very, uh, even like, uh, we can understand, uh, we can understand all of the music that is, all, all of the love music that people are putting out and we are listening to, but, uh, this Venus in Pisces is a, a very dream-like, fantasy-like love. Uh, if we are into, uh, if we are into relationships, we may even transcend into, uh, spirituality, into some kind of, um, Themes surrounding faith and religion, um, so our uh, imagination is going to help us a lot.
lot in our relationships uh, but also we may struggle with so these are the negative sides of venus in pisces struggling with boundaries and limits venus in pisces is like pouring water into water <laughs> so it's very and this is specifically when we're talking about venus it's about uh love and relationships and beauty and and, and finances personal finances so having no boundaries having no limits having there is no ending of me and beginning of you everything is blended and everything is merging and it's beautiful so the positive side is that um everything will be blending and merging and, and it will be this beautiful fantasy like movie like um fantasy love but at the at the same time it can go into negatives and it can go into the negative side that is um we can we as people can become victims of um <clears throat> we can be uh we can become victims more easily because we don't have any boundaries we don't have any limits we're going to do anything for the people that we love for the person that we love for the person that we are in a relationship with if we're single with this venus in pisces this pl may play out in the same way but it may play out in different ways meaning that with venus in pisces we may become very um delusional uh while we have a crush on somebody we like somebody we may have our rose colored glasses on and we may not see the reality and this may become really difficult this is like no boundaries you're going to do whatever this person tells you to do uh, you're going to you're going to uh want to win them over um and and overdo things um so with Venus in Pisces, we, ha we have to be very careful. It's very easy to see somebody and to see somebody we love, to see somebody we like romantically as the perfect person, like the pers our perfect partner, our perfect um, uh, half. But the reality is it's probably this person is not our perfect half, uh, but we, we are just in this moment of like ultimate dream-like love we have fallen in love and you know love is blind so this is like venus in pisces is this transit that love is blind um so on the positive sides we can become very creative we can become very uh, inspired by love and inspired by beauty uh to create beauty and love so when we are in love and we have this feeling we can feel like uh hercules that we can do anything and move anything and with this person by my side i can i can i can become a superhero um so it's this it really depends it can get very uh venus in pisces can be very high or very low like and it can be very chaotic, it can be uh, very changeable during this, this transit. It really depends on how we are going to work with this transit and uh, the energy. Uh, so on the 19th of March, we have Sun in Aries. Sun is moving into Aries. Happy birthday to Aries. Uh, we are moving into the uh, the astrological new year because Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So Aries is the baby. As we've talked about so this is uh the season of aries this is the season of early spring and we all are going to be it's a fresh new start it's it's the astrological new year it's uh this season is going to be filled with the aries qualities that are most um honorable uh we are all going to be uh, a little bit more brave <laughs> a little bit more honest transparent uh we're going to be a little bit more um our own heroes we're going to uh, be have very hero like uh, qualities with this um, uh, season of aries uh, early spring everything is coming into life a lot of maybe a new also a new self we may discover a new self uh, that we want to we want to share with the world uh, usually the season of pisces because it's the last zodiac sign <clears throat> it's the season of endings um spiritual endings is the season of this is the last chapter this is the last season 
no more of this. So usually during the season of Pisces, they, 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 until the 19th of March, there are usually um, breakups or transformations or different kind of endings like quitting your job or being getting fired or different types of endings that are never going to happen again we're never going to uh, we're never going to re relive that again um it has ended forever uh but with with Aries season the next season from the 19th of march on uh we are entering into this the the first sign the first astrological sign the astrological new year uh, right <laughs> so this is uh beginning something new so starting a new relationship starting a new job um starting a business getting an idea um getting a pro uh, you know starting a project or having or 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 having a personality or an image of ourselves that is different that we have created something that is new, that is different, that is, you know, we are starting to bloom and everything around us is starting to bloom early spring. Um, so happy birthday again to all Aries and let's continue on the 22nd of March. We have Mars is moving into Pisces. Uh, so again, this is March is going to be a little bit more into the Pisces, um, the Pisces energy. Uh, again, February was had an Aquarius stellium, a lot of Aquarius energy, and here we're moving. We have uh, Venus and Mars into Pisces, and we have a new moon in Pisces. So these are th three things happening that are uh, into Pisces with this Pisces energy. So Mars is the planet of war, aggression, sex, drive, motivation, hustle. So. Having Mars in Pisces, Mars the last zodiac sign, this is a difficult position for Mars. Um, probably one of the most difficult positions for Mars because Mars is aggression and war. And Pisces is not. <laughs> Pisces is this chaotic, spiritual, make love, not war, <laughs> right? Um, uh, this spiritual leader, spiritual warrior. So we have here with Mars in Pisces, we have the spiritual warrior. Uh, this team, this transit is about how how are you... So Mars is our aggression and war and motivation and how are you aligning this super aggressive, fiery, hot energy with Pisces that is unconditional love that is spirituality and faith and religion imagination so i think here our motivation is becoming watery our motivation first of all our motivation is going to get a lot of ups and downs it's going to go like this it's not going to be straightforward it's not going to be fiery it's not going to uh it's going to up ups and downs we're gonna wake up one, some mornings and we're gonna be super motivated and we're gonna get up other mornings and feel like we don't feel like going out of bed <clears throat> but this is i think because we have to align ourselves with what is our drive and motivation and aggression and hustle and what is our spiritual um spiritual thinking so whatever we are doing during the day whatever we are fighting for uh, are we fighting for ourselves? Are we fighting for a cause? Are we fighting for other people? Whatever we are doing in our everyday life, we have to have a spiritual kind of motivation. Our motivation is going to become more spiritual. Um, also, Mars in Pisces is a, a, a creative storm, almost. If when we talked about Venus in Pisces, Venus get super inspired by love and by beauty, falling in love. Here with Mars, we have everything that we are surrounded by, everybody that we meet is going to inspire us into this like creative engine. This is a, a very, very creative, this is a creative bomb. Um, this is a very creative uh, position of Mars to be in. But the, the, the biggest, the biggest, negative side of Mars in Pisces is that if I don't feel if I don't feel it I'm not going to do it 
So this is like, this is very difficult for Mars in Pisces because it's not, Mars in Pisces is not motivated by money. Mars is Pisces, in Pisces is not motivated by um, reputation, by, um, you know, the, the, the class system. So, you know, I'm going to give you like a, a title. You're going to become a CEO or a COO. It doesn't matter to Mars in Pisces. How we're going to get hooked with Mars in Pisces and what is going to be motivated, motivating for Mars in Pisces is how am I going to help, right? How am I going to help? Who am I going to help? Who am I fighting for, right? So Mars in Pisces can be incredibly creative can be a creative genius, it can be uh, a spiritual warrior, uh, but at the same time, it has to have this alignment with the spirituality, with the faith of the person, with the religion of the person. And it's not, Martin Pisces is not motivated by the trivial, like material things. It has to have more, it has to have more. So a lot of questions here about like our everyday life, our jobs, our uh, goals in life, how are we going to align them with our spiritual side? What are we going to do to develop our spiritual side of ourselves? Um, and last but not least, on the 25th of March, we have a full moon in Libra that is also uh, a lunar eclipse. So this is probably one of the most important things in, in March, during uh, March, on the 25th of March, the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. Um, so these are, on the 25th of March, this event is about endings. And I know it sounds like very tragic <laughs> and um, very tragic and sad, but the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra Libra is relationships, Libra is partnerships um, that are equal, equality, equal relationships, equal partnerships. So endings of anything that is not equal. So whatever it's ending during the 25th of March or around the 25th of March in your life, it's for your own best. And it's something that Either it's taking a toll on you because it's too much, you're, you're, you're putting on 100% and the other person is putting like 10% or, you know, whatever. Uh, or it's about ending of your own illusions, your own... Um, sometimes we have different, a different picture in our own mind. And it's not what it's in reality. So here with this full moon in Libra and this lunar eclipse in Libra, I think we're going to get like, we're going to have a lot of... Um, reality is going to show us what is real and what's, uh, you know, illusions in our own mind, in our own head. Uh, we can have different pictures in our own head about things, about love, about relationships, about other people. And here with this uh, full moon in Libra, this lunar eclipse in Libra, you are going to be shown our own illusions. We're going to be shown what is real, what is not real. We're also going to see uh, in our relationships which people are there for us and which people are good for us, uh, which people are our equal. So we want our equals. We don't want. Also, we're going to be shown if if we are slacking somewhere, right? We're not putting enough. We're not 50-50. We're, we're, we're not working on those relationships. We are the bad. We're the bad guy. We're the villain. So we're going to be shown all of these things. A lot of endings, a lot of uh, finishings of, uh, you know, not anymore uh, of these things. Um, so yeah, have a great uh, March. Uh, comment, share, all of these things. And you can now uh, leave a super comment if you like down there. Uh, we're going to talk about all of the different zodiac signs and what they can expect from March. Let's go.